Hello Stampers! I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Ink and with Dink and welcome to my video. All this week on my videos and also on my Facebook Live, I have been focusing on this Simply Citrus card kit that is in the annual catalog. It is such a great card kit and it is an all-inclusive kit, which means everything that you need to complete the cards is included in the kit. So it even comes with a stamp set and adhesives, a block, um, and a small ink spot. So it is just, like I said, has everything in it that you would need to complete your card. So it's really a fabulous kit and a fabulous way to go if you want a bunch of cards to make either in a pinch or if you just like to be creative and play, um, which is what I have been doing this week. So what I did is I purchased this kit and I went through and made one of every card in the kit. So this is what the completed cards for the kit look like. Then what I did is I spent some time and I have just been playing with my supplies that are left and making all kinds of other cards. So on, let me see if I can find them here. On Tuesday, I made a video where I just made this simple alternative card. Okay, so very simple, but very pretty and bright. On Wednesday, my Facebook Live, I showed how to make these cards um, using the insides of the envelopes. And then I also showed how to make these little easel cards. So they were super fun. There was another one I made too, but I don't see it, so I'm not sure what that one was. So today, um, for my alternatives, I'm going to, again, show you how to make some cards using the insides of my envelopes, but this time we're going to use every bit of the inside of the envelope to make our cards. So these are the cards we're gonna be making today. So are you ready to get started? Then let's do this. So to start off, we are going to take one of each of the envelope designs that are in the kit. So there's this one that has the lemons on it and then there's this one that just has the polka dots on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them down to card front size. Now if you remember I showed you yesterday, the design does not go all the way over to the edge. So you have to cut in a little bit um, when you're cutting your sides off. So I'm just going to do that. I know I need my card to be five and a quarter inches long. So I'm going to cut it down so that it's that. Then you just have this piece of envelope here. So I'm going to cut it or slide it in. I'm going to cut it across here like that. And then I know I need it to be four inches wide. So I'm going to trim it just like that. So there is one card front. Then we're going to do the same thing over again on the other side. So just going to cut off one side. Oops, I didn't quite go far enough. Let's cut again. There we go. I'm going to flip it over. Cut it to five and a quarter. Okay, so I've got this. Slide it in, cut off the bottom where the design comes to. And I know it needs to be four inches wide. All right, so there are those two. Now, for these, I have these two flaps left over. I'm gonna set them aside and save them because we are going to use those on our card. So, I've got these put aside. I'm gonna take two card bases and they need to measure eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just going to fold each of them in half for my card bases. Be sure and use a bone folder so that they are nice and crisp. Just like that. Now, before I put these on my card front, I want to change things up just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, and you can see on this card, I've got one design on the top and a different design on the bottom. I am just going to cut off one and three quarters inches from the bottom of these. So I've just got them both here. I'm gonna put them in here. Let's do it this way. Measure up to one and three quarters and slice it just like that, okay? Now I'm ready to put them on my card front. So one of them, the big section is gonna be that design, the other one like that. 
and then the bottom section is going to be the other design on them just like that okay so I can go ahead and you know what let's use our seal and I'm just going to put my adhesive along all four sides and I'm gonna put it just like that then this one I'm going to put my adhesive on and put it across the bottom just like that now we'll do the same for the other card put that across the top like that put this one put a couple of strips on it and put it across the bottom just like that okay now because there is a little a divide like that and I don't necessarily want that to be noticeable these are a couple of different um, die cuts that were included in the kit so I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of them and I'm just going to slide them on and kind of center them just like that. On my sample cards here, there is a piece of a green one and that also was from the kit. Okay, so there we have that. So I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to work on this piece right here. So I'm just going to take a couple pieces of Whisper White going to take my Knight of Navy stamp pad and I am just going to stamp that a couple of times and I'm going to punch it out with my two inch circle punch. So I'm going to get that centered in there and get this one centered in there like that. Now, here's the fun part. So, for the background for each of these cards, you can see it is the same design as the top paper. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my two and a quarter inch circle punch and I am going to punch out a circle from the remaining part of my envelope. Okay. Now when you do this, you do have a little bit of the fold that has been scored, but once you get it on your card, that is not noticeable at all. Okay, so I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of my stamped image. Center that on there like that. Same thing for the next one. Center that on there like that, and then they are ready to pop up on my card front. So I'm just going to use a couple of dimensionals. Put three on each of those. If you sometimes use just two on there, it tends to wobble back and forth, and we don't want any of that going on. So let's take the backings off. And you know what? I'm going to put this one on this one. And let's take the backing off of this one. And I'm gonna put it just like that. All right, there we go so far. So now we need some bows. So I have my bow maker and on my sample, I did double bows. So we're just gonna do single ones on this one. I did show you, I think it was on my video Tuesday, a fast way to do the double bows. So if you are interested in that, be sure you check out that video. But I'm gonna do that one there. And we're gonna make this one right here. All right, so need my glue dots to stick the bows on there so I'm going to stick my bow down to my dot and then lift it up I'm going to put that one right there and that one right there 
Okay, so you know what? I didn't put little flowers on yesterday on my samples. Let's put little flowers on here because I just love these little uh, sturdy vellum flowers. They are so pretty in this kit. So I'm going to stick that one on a glue dot. That up and put that one there. That one on, lift it up and put it there. And there you go. There was a fairly fast alternative using the envelope liners in your card kit. So I just thought that turned out really fun um, and really easy. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed all of my alternatives this week using the Simply Citrus card kit. Um, and so if you've decided it's definitely something that you need in your supply, be sure and go to dinalstamps.stampinup.net. Use my July host code. When you use my host code this month and your order hits at least $30 before taxes and shipping, I will send you this card kit of the month. What the card kit is, is it supplies to make six cards, two of each of these. The first card in all three designs will be completed for you to use as your sample. And the second one will be all of the consumables unstamped for you to use your own stuff that you have, um, stamp sets, inks, um, to be able to complete the cards too. So again, once your order hits $30, you get the card kit for the month. So thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, and I really love being able to share all these bright and cherry cards with you. So thank you so much and I will catch you next time.